Oh, hey. Uh, just having a little snack here before I go to bed. Uh, luckily, my wife loves me enough that she doesn't kick me out of bed for eating crackers. But don't tell her I'm doing this because she doesn't know. <laughs> um, so, did you know that eating before bed actually disrupts your sleep? Yep. I didn't know that either until I started tracking my sleep. So, our bodies actually have internal clocks and we've evolved over time to be hunter and gatherers and eat during the day and then when the sun goes down, we sleep. Now, when we eat late at night, that actually disrupts that internal clock and confuses it because it thinks it's time to sleep, not eat. Now, what happens is you've actually forced the body to digest food and sleep at the same time and it actually results in it doing a poor job of both of those things. So you get a poor quality sleep and poor digestion. So you can see here, here, or here, or one of these spots that when I eat late my heart rate actually doesn't go down very low. It stays high meaning I'm not as well rested versus when I don't eat late my heart rate goes a lot lower when I'm sleeping which is allowing my body to rest and recover. So when I eat late I actually don't get the same recovery process during the sleep as I normally would and I'm waking up groggier and uh, a little bit grumpier um, and it's because I don't get the same amount of deep sleep and the REM sleep that I need uh, for my brain and my body to recover from the day-to-day -day activities. So the best tip I have for you is to not eat late or close to bedtime. So if you're an early to bed person, you're going to have to shift your dinner a little bit earlier to give that window of time for your food to digest before you're going to bed. Now, of course, you can track this with different sleep trackers and I highly recommend it because you'll know what's the best routine for you. Now, the other secret is no caffeine later in the day, uh, usually after 2 to 3 p.m. for most people um, because you'll be surprised at how long caffeine stays in the body, okay? So anytime you want to have that after dinner snack, refrain. Your future self will thank you for it because you're going to wake up healthier, more recovered, happier, less sluggish, and groggy. So if you're somebody who struggles with sleep, we can help. Often sleep is affected by chronic stress or even pain. So getting a amazing massage by one of our massage therapists to reduce that stress or going to see one of our uh, amazing physiotherapists to get you moving better out of pain is actually going to improve your sleep as well as make you feel better. So book your appointment today. Have a great weekend. I'm for real, don't tell my wife.